Okay, so we are going to meet Robert Louis Stevenson, who is one of the most famous, uh, uh, yes, British writers about the duality of um, man, although he was uh, um, Scottish. He was born into a middle class family in, in Edinburgh in 1850, and since his childhood, Poor Robert, uh, he suffered from tuberculosis and spent much of his time in bed. He traveled a lot in an attempt to improve his health. And so he, uh, his trips provided him with inspiration for his writings. The end of his life, he settled in Samoa, uh, where he died uh, in uh, 1894, and he married a woman from that area, a woman um, that loved him so much and he took care, she took care of him, but uh, of course um, his uh, family, his uh, narrow-minded family did not approve of uh, the marriage. Uh, he wrote uh, a lot. Uh, especially for, uh, well, his novels are considered novels for children, but actually him, we can say that uh, uh, they can be read uh, from two points of view, like the strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. So he wrote Treasure Island, which brought him success, then the strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde in 1886, which made his reputation, and also other novels like Kidnapped and Master of Ballantry. He also published collection of short stories and other tales. His uh, most famous novel is Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, uh, which is, uh, uh, we can say, the, um, a famous novel because uh, it reflected the hypocrisy of Victorian society, okay, the respectable side which had an awful side. So, Mr. Utterson is a respectable London lawyer, a friend of the brilliant scientist Henry Jekyll. Jekyll. The scientist has created a potion able to release his evil side, Mr. Hyde. And this was because he wanted to understand if uh, um, we can divide the good from the evil. So, remember that this was... Uh, a period where science uh, was um, much powerful and uh, so people, um, philosophers, thinkers thought that uh, you, can, you could win the evil side of society um, with science, okay? And so this is uh, the novel representing this. But these two beings, the good and the evil, are in perpetual struggle. So Hyde achieves domination over the Jekyll aspects. And Jekyll can't control his uh, evil side. So in the end, Jekyll has to uh, suicide, has to murder himself uh, because uh, he, cannot, uh, um, he cannot control his uh, evil side. So this is uh, quite similar to the part, the um, yes, to Doctor. Sorry, <laughs> this is quite similar to the picture of Dorian Gray. Okay, the picture of Dorian Gray is uh, more or less the same story, although it is written from an artistic point of view. While Doctor Jack and Mister Hyde focuses on a, we can say, scientist, yeah, scientific point of view. The setting, uh, it is the Victorian London in the 1870s, but the town had a double nature. The respectable West End versus the appalling East End slums. 
So Dr. Jekyll's house has uh, two doors, two facades. The front door um, used by the doctor is attractive, part of a square of handsome houses, while the rear side used by Mr. Hyde, where he um, sleeps out uh, during the night uh, to commit uh, um, horrible things, uh, is part of a sinister block of buildings. Most of the scenes uh, takes place at night. Uh, an important novelty of um, the narrative technique is uh, uh, the multi-narrative structure. So there are four narrators, uh, Utterson, Enfield, Dr. Lennon and Dr. Jekyll. Uh, Utterson uh, is uh, the... Um, he plays the role of a detective, so the story is told in the third person from his point of view. Enfield is a distant relative of Utterson's, and he tells Utterson a terrible story about a man trumping a child. Dr. Lanyon is a good friend and a colleague of Dr. Jekyll. He tells of his experience in Jekyll's transformation, and Dr. Jekyll is uh, uh, yes the protagonist uh, who invents uh, this uh, potion and his narrative and final confession takes up uh, the last chapter so only in the end uh, you got the um, disclosure of uh, the story the language is simple and clear there are many puns uh, uh, puns are giochi di parole so if he mr if he be mr hyde I shall be Mr. Sick. Okay, so Hyde is, uh, you know, Hyde written with I means nascondersi. And so the, um, the, the, the detective says, uh, okay, he's Mr. Hyde, um, he's mysterious, but I shall be Mr. Sick going to look for him. And it was made, the novel was made into many, many different uh, films. Uh, along the centuries. The sources, well, uh, Stevenson um, claims that uh, um, because of uh, his um, opium addiction, uh, he um, had a dream, okay? So he, he dreamt about a man in a laboratory uh, who swallowed the drug and turned into a different being. You must remember his very strict, very serious uh, education. Uh, he spent most of uh, his uh, childhood in bed, terrified of the dark room. Okay, He was kept in and tutored at home under the influence of his family's Calvinism. So, of course, uh, he had terrible nightmares uh, at night. And uh, the, the novel has got the uh, gothic features uh, because uh, of this dream uh, uh, with uh, monsters, uh, with night uh, and of course uh, the Calvinism of Stevenson's family gave the writer a sense of the duality of man's nature. There have been many influences and interpretations so Darwin's studies about man's kinship to the animal world. So Hyde is deformed and abnormal, the symbol of repressed psychological drives. Jack Hill is a Victorian Faust. His awareness is a sort of a pact with the, his interior evil that controls him in the end and wins over him. And it's a reflection of on art itself. So Jekyll's discovery may be the artist's journey into the human psyche. The main theme is the double nature of human beings. Jekyll and Hyde are the stereotypes of people who are good and who are evil. And so Stevenson wanted really to understand uh, if we can divide the good side from the evil side. Jekyll has uh, led a virtuous life, uh, his face is handsome, his hands are white, uh, 
His body is large and harmonious, while Hyde is poor hate and evil. His face is pale, his hands are dark and hairy, his body is dwarfish and deformed.